right, peeps. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about simple machines. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand work, identify the different types of simple machines, and explain how machines make work easier. Before we get to work, talking about simple machines, we need to talk about work itself. Isaac Newton's laws state that force changes the motion of an object. Check out that video below for more information about force and motion and Isaac Newton. So work is done when a force causes an object to move in the same direction as the force that is applied. Work is when a force acts on an object to move it some distance from the starting point. Let's say I need to pick up this box. I can feel my arms exerting a force as I lift the box. The box moves up in the direction of my force. I do work when I lift the box upwards. Now let's say I start walking forward. I can still feel my arms applying an upward force, but the box is moving forward. The direction of the motion is not in the same direction of the force applied by my arms. Therefore, there is no work done by my arms. This box only weighed a few pounds. Do you think I could successfully move a 20,000 pound box like this with my bare hands? That would be like trying to move a large elephant. Well, let's ask the ancient Egyptians how they built the Great Pyramid thousands of years ago. The blocks of stone they used were huge and heavy. To make the work easier, they invented and used many simple machines, such as the lever and inclined plane. Egyptians aren't the only ones to use simple machines. Even you have probably used a simple machine today. Garage doors, door latches, scissors, office chairs are all where you can find examples of simple machines. So let's talk about what these simple machines are. They are devices with no or very few moving parts that make work easier. Many of today's complex tools are really just more complicated forms of the six simple machines. By using simple machines, ordinary people can split huge rocks, hoist large stones, and move large blocks over great distances kind of like the Egyptians. We call this a mechanical advantage. These machines just make these tasks easier. So let's find out about each simple machine. Number one is a wedge. A wedge is a triangular shaped tool. It drives objects apart. A door stopper, ax, and shovels are examples of wedges. Number two is a wheel and axle. A wheel and axle uses two basic parts, a wheel and an axle. It reduces the friction of moving something. Examples of wheel and axle are doorknobs, pizza cutters, shopping carts, and car tires. Number three is a lever. A lever is a simple plank or beam that is free to rotate on a pivot. It increases or decreases the applied force. A seesaw, crowbar, claw edge of a hammer, and even a simple board with a fulcrum located between the load and the force are all examples of levers. Number four is an inclined plane. An inclined plane is an even sloping surface. It is used to move objects to a greater height. Some examples of inclined planes include ramps, like to get on and off highways or to get into buildings, and slides. A wedge is a portable inclined plane. Number five is a screw. 
A screw is like a narrow inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. It holds things together or helps lift objects. Some examples could include a plain old household screw, light bulbs, a twist off bottle cap, and jar lids. Circular stairways are also a form of screws and they help lift objects. Number six is a pulley. A pulley makes life easier with a wheel and cord or chain. It changes the direction of a force. Some examples of pulleys are garage doors, elevators, even blinds on your window. There are also compound machines, which is a device that combines two or more of our simple machines. For example, a wheelbarrow combines the use of a wheel and axle and a lever. Now let's wrap up. Today we learned what work is, what the simple machines are, and how they make work easier. Simple machines truly make our lives easier and even better. While you are at home this weekend, try to think about everyday examples of the six simple machines and see how many you can find in your house or neighborhood. Thanks for watching.